Hello, book friends. Today I'll be reading Eight Little Planets. It's a book about our solar system. Let's open the book. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Eight Little Planets Going Round the Sun. Could these little planets be having much fun? Eight Little Planets with the Sun at the Center. There it is. It's smiling. Does each one wish it were a little bit better? Hmm. Old, slow Neptune. Looks a bit behind. Orbiting the sun takes an awful long time. But the eighth little planet doesn't need to worry. It spins on its axis in a really big hurry. So that's Neptune. Can you say that? Neptune. And it takes Neptune 165 years to orbit the sun. Yeah, to go around the sun. 165 years. That's a long, long, long time. All right, Neptune, you better get to it. Let's go to the next planet. I see Uranus. Seems really quite shy. It looks a bit weird spinning on one side. But the seventh little planet still feels bold. It is pretty cool to be the most cold. So that's the planet Uranus. Can you say it? Uranus. Whoa! And Uranus is a windy, icy planet. That's why it's wearing a beanie. And it has mittens and boots to keep warm. Oh, poor Uranus. Keep warm. Let's go to the next planet. Silly old Saturn. Looks far too busy. All those moonlets should make a planet dizzy. But the sixth little planet loves all those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. Do you see the rings? Yes, on Saturn. Such a pretty name. Can you say that? Saturn. And do you see the rings? Wow! Saturn has seven rings. So not one ring, not two rings, seven rings. And look, it's using the rings as a hula hoop. Ooh, I love to hula hoop. Yeah, oh, Saturn has a lot of fun. Let's go to the next planet. Big stormy Jupiter. Looks weighed down with mass. Four octillion pounds is a lot of gas. Wow, that sure is. But the fifth little planet doesn't feel down. Not with so many friendly moons around. Whoa, can you believe it? Look at all those moons. And they're all smiling, having fun. Wow, Jupiter. Can you say that? Jupiter. Oh, that's a fun word. And do you know what that red spot is on Jupiter? It's a giant storm. Wow, that's a cool fact. Wow, all right, keep having fun, Jupiter. Let's go to our next planet. Oh, okay, dry red Mars. Looks a bit rusty. All those storms can make a planet dusty. But the fourth little planet never sheds a tear. No, no, no. It has the tallest mountain of any planet here. So Mars, that's the planet Mars, has a mountain on it. And it's the tallest mountain. Can you say Mars? Mars. Wow. 
And Mars is the closest to the asteroid belt. And maybe that's why it's a bit dusty. Hmm, maybe. Maybe these are little asteroids. Hmm, maybe. All right, Mars. Well, uh, try to keep clean. Let's go to the next planet. Oh, we know this planet, don't we? Do you recognize this planet? Pale blue Earth should be filled with strife. It must be hard being home to all this life, including us, right? But the third little planet doesn't feel tense. It is quite proud to be the most dense. Oh, hello, Earth. We're somewhere in there. Can you believe it? Hi, Earth. And Earth is made up of 70% water. Yes, it is covered in water. Do you see the floaties on Earth? One well, has little fins. Whoa, it's prepared for all that water. Oh, bye-bye, Earth. See you later. Let's see what the next planet is. Fiery Venus must feel rather fraught. 900 degree temperatures sure are hot. Oh, so hot. But the second little planet never cries. It loves being the brightest planet in the sky. Oh, I would love that too. Yeah, the brightest planet is Venus. And it's also the hottest planet in our solar system. That's why it has sunglasses. And it has a nice cold drink that it drinks with the straw. How classy, Venus. Wow, all right. We'll try to keep cool, Venus. Okay, let's see what the next planet is. Super fast Mercury. Could sing a sad tune. It must get lonely without any moons. Oh, it doesn't have any moons around it. But the first little planet never feels bad. Being closest to the sun is reason to be glad. Oh, so it makes it up by being the closest to the sun. They're buddies. They're the closest to each other. Mercury. Can you say that? Mercury. Ooh, that's another fun word to say. Hi, Mercury. Whoa, and it's super fast. Yeah, it has a little sweat fan. Oh, it's got little running socks and sneakers. Little sweat bands on its arms. Wow. It only takes Mercury 88 days to orbit the sun, to go around the sun. Do you remember our planet Neptune? Let's go back to Neptune. That's Neptune, remember? And it takes Neptune 165 years. Years. And it takes, let's go back to Mercury. Whoa. It takes Mercury 88 days. So 88 days is a little less than three months compared to 165 years. That's a short time. Yes. Wow, you're fast, Mercury. Woo! Fast, fast, fast. All right. Bye, Mercury. It's busy. It's going around the sun. Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Right there. Proud to be unique. Nothing could be better. Eight little planets going around the sun, being happy what they are and ready for some fun. Oh, isn't that right? There they all go, including our Earth, our very own planet. Oh, we have to take care of Earth. Yes, we have to take care of Earth. And, and, 
and um, make sure that all that water that covers it, we have to make sure it stays clean. Yeah, that's so why we have to throw our trash in the trash cans. Yes. If you see trash on the ground, pick it up and throw it in the trash. That's how we can help Earth. Just little things like that. Yeah, can make really big differences. That's right. Mm, I love all of the planets and I love the sun too. The sun being a really bright star. Wow. So much to learn about our solar system. Oh, and that's the end of Eight Little Planets. Yay! Can you clap with me? Oh, what a fun book to read. Did you have fun with me? Did you learn something new? <gasps> Did you learn to say a new word? Like Mercury? Or Neptune? Or Mars? Oh, I hope you did. Well, until next time, bye book friends.